What's up, carrots? I'm back with another video. This is episode kiting three. I know you guys love these videos, and I love making them to help you guys. And it's just so satisfying when I see the comments saying how much I've helped and improved your kiting. So first off, we're gonna start in graveyard, the easiest kiting area, the best kiting area in Red Church. You just want to wait in the pallet, see if he, see, make him make the first move. Sorry, guys, and um, try to get to church if possible. You'll you'll beat him in a foot race if you throw down that pallet. And uh, yeah, you just make your way to uh, middle broken. Now this is the second way. If he goes from your front, you throw the bat on a pallet and you make your way to back gate. Back gate is very, very strong. This this whole side of the map is very good, but you really want to make sure you get to back gate. Make him the, make the first move, not you. And uh, yeah, you just get to these pallets. You wait him out. You wait him out. See which way he goes. And uh, if he goes, chases you. Don't throw the pallet down. Just loop tight, kite. Do the best you can. I know he doesn't have a foggy blade, so I can't. Uh, vault that window. I throw the pallet down now. Waste as much time as I get to back gate. Right here is church. Wedding. Uh, wedding is really bad. I'll be honest with you guys. You have to get to this infinite loop. Uh, this infinite loop is really, really bad if he has a uh, window block. Um, but you can't hide behind there. I'm, the ripper is showing you uh, that it cannot foggy blade through both those walls. So get behind there if it is a ripper foggy blade. And just, if he doesn't have window block, you just keep looping him. Keep looping him. The, the hunter, every hunter can't do anything here. It's pretty amazing. Unless it's a geisha, but you can still play a geisha by looking at her. This is really strong if they don't have window block. If they do have window block, you have to take a hit. And you have to relocate to uh, middle church or uh, to top broken as my team calls it. Just buy as much time as possible for your team. Hide behind these pallets. Make him swing. It always works. Go around. Throw the pallet down. If you can, get the pallet stunned. And uh, just keep moving. Yeah, guys. It's very simple. Right now, we're in top broken. Now, watch out. Top hunter drew this wall. You can see the red light. If you see that red light go, you make sure you go to middle broken. Um, this is a very also a very strong kiting area. You have to use the pallets to your advantage. Many people just rush through the pallets, just throw them down very fast. You don't want to do that unless you're right here. You can sometimes throw that pallet down, but leave pallets up as uh, as much as possible here because it is a very weak kiting area if all the pallets are gone. What makes this place strong is the pallets. I throw this pallet down. He does miss his foggy blade. I throw this pallet down. I see him breaking the pallet. Just loop it, guys. Loop it, loop it. Make him break the pallet. Make the hunter make the first move. Once he breaks that pallet, make your way to middle church. Middle church is your safe area because it has two windows. Make him break that. Play him. Vault the, window, vault the pallet. And get to the middle church. And guys, I know I am running broken windows, but you got all these cutting air. All these cutting routes are for non-broken windows as well. So keep that in mind. Throw the pallet down and uh, make your way over here. You won't make it anywhere else. You will take a hit if you go anywhere else. You have to throw this pallet down very fast, and you have to make him make the first move. If he starts breaking that pallet, run. If he doesn't break the pallet, just keep rotating. You see him break that pallet, and you make your way over to church. No, not church. Tombstone, my bad. It's a brain fart. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you just keep going. Don't throw that pallet down. It, just, it makes you waste time. And, uh, guys, when you are decoding Middle Church, always throw the pallet down right here. Don't decode Middle Church if you don't have broken windows. I repeat, do not. If you have broken windows, you can decode Middle Church only if you throw that pallet down so you can get the speed boost to the window and make your way to back gate. I cannot stress that enough. Transitioning to Sacred Heart. If you're in Shack, always have this pallet thrown down. I think, um... Hide behind the cipher. If you hide behind the cipher, you can't get hit by the foggy. Trust me, guys. If you hide behind the cipher, you cannot get hit by the foggy no matter what. Make your way to ruins. The strongest cutting area in the entire game. Right here, I wait to throw the pallet down once you get a heartbeat, guys. Trust me. Wait to throw the pallet down once you get a heartbeat. I get the heartbeat. I throw the pallet down and I hide behind the cipher. Watch, guys. You cannot get foggy bladed if you're hiding behind the cipher. If he goes around and breaks the pallet, vault the window, broken or not. And then you get over to these pallets. These pallets secure you for a little time, and you can get your way over to church. I mean, hospital. Sorry. And hospital is very strong as well. Sacred Heart is just a very strong map in general. Over here, you want to throw this pallet down as soon as possible. You don't want to waste your time with that. They cannot foggy blade through that. That is why the Ripper swung there to show you guys they cannot foggy blade through that. 
Make him rotate. Make him break that pallet. Vault the vault the uh, pallet. Broken or not, you can get to this area. Once you're in this area, you have to get to your ruins. You have to get to your ruins. Back at it again. Throw the pallet down as usual, always. And now he does go around, so throw this pallet down and make him break the pallet. Make him break the pallet. Make him break the pallet. He broke the pallet. Now vault this window. Make him miss the foggy. He misses the foggy, and I get to this area. This kiting area is very good. You do not want to throw the pallets down here. You just keep looping. He'll get tired of chasing you, and he'll just think, yeah, you're not going to throw the pallet down. So run halfway, and then the pallets. It's very simple, guys. You guys can do that. Um, it's a very strong kiting area, and get to this pallet right here. This is also another good pallet. Make him waste the foggy blade if you can. Pallets done. And then get to hospital. Always get to hospital. Hospital is your best friend in this map. Right here is very tricky. It's middle open. You don't really want to decode there if you're not a good kiter. Um, you are more than likely than not going to get hit. Always make your way to shack if you're in this situation. If you can make it to church, great. I mean, hospital, great, but this is very unlikely. What I'm doing is very unlikely. Um, don't count on that. Alright, here we are. We are ruins. This is my favorite kiting area in the game. This is what I'm known for. People around the game know me as the best ruins kiter. Guys, you, all you, it's very simple. All you have to do is play the hunter. Make him play the first move. You see him chase, vault that window. Always, guys, watch. Watch my camera. If he has window boost, you can't do it. But he does not have window block, so you just keep looping. He didn't have window block, so you loop again. I know he does not have foggy. Make him make the first move. He's still chasing. He's still chasing. I Make sure he's chasing. He's still chasing. Now, watch, guys. Watch out. Make sure they do not foggy blade me here. I almost did get foggy because I did not expect that. But... Now I'm going to throw that pallet down because he, he's catching on to my style and you throw these pallets down. When you throw these pallets down, make him make the first move. This is because both pallets are breakable and both pallets you can make a move. I see him break that. I vault it and I loop around. You loop around because he chases you. He won't go straight. He'll go loop around. And then I vault this window because I can get to this, right? And this does work without broken, guys. Trust me. Trust me it does work without broken. This is the strongest kiting area. Second strongest. Nah, it's arguably first. Arguably first. Church is tombstone still pretty strong. And here we are, hospital. Uh, this is a very strong kiting area as well. When you are here, you want to throw this pallet down and then go straight right because they can't foggy blade you if you go straight right. If you go straight, they will foggy blade you. Check behind you if he's still chasing you. Throw the pallet down if he's chasing you. Jump through this hole. Now, there are an array of options here. You could go through that hole behind me, but I go straight and up. The stairs once again. I'm just trying to buy time for my team because no one's decoding here, right? And uh, just use the holes to your advantage. He will lose you more than likely if he uh, if you keep using the holes and I get my way back to ruins. Thank you guys for watching this episode. I really am spending a lot of time to help you guys. I really love this fan art. Thank you so much to Kawhi. I love this fan art so much. Like I said, guys, uh, my Discord will be down below. This is probably one of my favorite fan arts. Top three, maybe. Favorite, I don't know, I don't have a favorite, so let's just go with that, right? Um, anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope it does help. I'm taking a lot of time to make these videos. Uh, I'm coming back from vacation very soon. If not, when this video is posted, I should be back, so uh, keep that in mind, guys. I will be streaming very soon. Persona 5 skins coming out. I'm super excited for that as well. Koa coming up. I'll be a very busy, busy. But I will keep the videos coming. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you later. Carrots.